praise God. At this point, I want to invite the praise and worship to come and give us a, a praise and a worship as we continue the service. Hakuna mungu kama wewe. Hakuna mungu kama wewe. Hakuna na hata kuwepo. Hakuna mungu kama wewe. Hakuna mungu kama wewe. Hakuna mungu kama wewe. Hakuna na hata kuwepo. Netembea kote kote nimetafuta kote kote nimezunguka kote kote hakuna na hata kuwepo nimetembea kote kote nimetafuta kote kote nimezunguka kote kote Hakuna na hata kuwepo Hakuna mweza kama wewe Hakuna mweza kama wewe Hakuna na hata kuwepo Hakuna mweza kama wewe Hakuna mweza kama wewe Hakuna za kama wewe Hakuna na hata kuwepo Nimetembea kote kote Nimetafuta kote kote Nimezunguka kote kote Hakuna na hata kuwepo Hakuna Mwenye ishara kubwa Kama we Ewe mungu Hakuna Mwenye ishara kubwa Kama we Ewe mungu Sikwa majeshi Father, we thank you for the gift of life this evening, O Lord Father. Thank you for guiding us throughout the day. Thank you for giving us life, O Lord Father. Dear God, I pray that we are about to hear our reading, O Lord Father. I pray that you may understand each and every word, O Lord Father. O God, even as we hear the word, O Lord Father, I pray that you may protect us, O Lord Father, and help us understand each and everything that you are being taught, O Lord Father. Thank you, and I honor you. I give you all the praise. I give you all the honor. It is in the mighty name of Jesus, I do pray and believe. Amen. Yeah, praise God. Praise God again. Reading comes from the book of John 3, 14 to 18. Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the desert, 
so the Son of Man must be lifted up, that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Whoever believes in him, whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already because he has not believed in the name of God, in the name of God's one and only son. And that's the word of God. Ebenezer, 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 what a wonder you are. I love you so much, Ebenezer, Ebenezer, what a wonder you are. Ebenezer, 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 what a wonder you are. I love you so much, Ebenezer. Ebenezer, what a wonder you are. Mighty Jesus, mighty Jesus. Mighty Jesus, what a wonder you are. I love you so much, mighty Jesus. Mighty Jesus, what a wonder you are. Oh, 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 bam, bam, bam. That's why I praise you in the morning. That's why I praise you in the noon time. That's why I praise you in the evening. That's why I praise you all the time you are so faithful. So faithful, so faithful, Lord, you are. So faithful, so faithful, so faithful. Let's bow our heads for a word of prayer. Thank you, Father, for the day, for the gift of life and salvation you have given unto us, O Lord. As we hear your word, may you protect us and keep us safe and help us understand it. In Jesus' name I do pray and believe. Amen. Praise God. God is good. And all the time, amen, praise God. Thank you very much, praise and worship. Thank you very much, Kingsley, for that wonderful reading. At this point, I want us to go direct to what God has prepared for us this morning so that we be blessed together. Praise God. Amen. We have been going through the lessons of doctrine. We have done the doctrine of the Bible. And currently we are doing the doctrines of Christ. Praise God. And today we want to learn about the doctrine of Christ and his work. Praise God. The reason why God sent Jesus Christ to us. Praise God. And we were reading from the book of John chapter 3 verses 14 to 18. And we are being reminded that God gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him will not perish but to have everlasting life. Praise God. Hello? Praise God. That whoever believes in him will not perish but to have everlasting life. Praise God. So, the main reason why God sent Jesus Christ are five. Praise God. But you are going to matter much on Jesus Christ coming for us to give us eternal life. Praise God. The first one is Jesus Christ came to be our sin bearer. Praise God. God sent Jesus Christ to come and be our sin bearer. God also sent Christ, Jesus Christ, to come and destroy the work of the devil. Praise God. Jesus Christ was to come 
and destroy the works of the devil. That one we get from the book of 1 John chapter 3, verses 8. Another reason why God sent Jesus Christ is to come and give us eternal life. Praise God. God sent Jesus Christ to come and give us eternal life. That one we are getting from the book of 1 John chapter 4, verses 9. Praise God. God also sent Jesus Christ to come to be a turning sacrifice of our sins. Jesus Christ was to come and give a, to be a turning sacrifice of our sins. That one you are getting from the book of 1 John chapter 4, verses 10. Another reason why God sent Jesus Christ is to come to be the savior of the world. Praise God. Jesus Christ was to come and be the savior of the world. We are being reminded that when God created us, he created Adam and Eve. Praise God. And along the way, Adam and Eve committed a sin to an extent it separated, it separated us from God. Praise God. It made us to be sinners. Praise God. So God is now sending Jesus Christ to come and bring us back to the love that God created us with. Praise God. So the main reason why God sent Jesus Christ is to come and save us from our sin and we have eternal life. Praise God. So to us as teenagers, to the teenage, to the, to the young Christians of today, why is it beneficial for us to believe in death and resurrection of Christ Jesus? Praise God. What is the benefit of death and resurrection of Christ Jesus to us as young Christians? Praise God. One of the benefits of Jesus' death and resurrection to us as young Christians is that Jesus' death and resurrection to us teenagers, Jesus' death and resurrection to us teenagers is to us teenagers is to get us saved. Praise God. It's through Jesus Christ is when we are being born again. Praise God. That's why God is telling us that no one goes to the Father unless through his Son, Jesus Christ. Praise God. So this morning we are being reminded that unless we believe in Christ Jesus' death and resurrection, we cannot be born again. Praise God. And as young Christians, it is good to be born again. Why? Because it is only through salvation that you are going to get eternal life. Praise God. And that's why the main reason why God sent Jesus Christ so that we can be, we can get that eternal life in this life that we are living today. Praise God. So it's only through salvation that we can get eternal life. It is only through death and resurrection of Jesus Christ that we can be born, be born again. Another benefit why, well, another benefit for us as Christ, young Christians why we need to believe in death and resurrection of Christ Jesus Christ is that the death and resurrection was to fulfill God's eternal purpose to our life. Praise God. The death and resurrection of Christ Jesus was to fulfill God's eternal purpose in our life. What the God, what's God's eternal purpose to us as Christians? God's internal purpose was for us is that is for us to have peace once again. Praise God. When Adam and Eve committed the sin, we it made us to lose the peace that we used to enjoy before the sin that Adam and Eve committed. Praise God. So when Jesus Christ was being sent, he was being sent so that at the end of the day we can enjoy that peace once again. Praise God. That one we get from the book of Ephesians chapter 3 verses 9 to 13. That Jesus Christ was to restore that peace that we lose when Adam and Eve committed what? Committed sin. Praise God. So even us as young Christians, when we believe in death and resurrection of Christ Jesus, we are going to get that peace once again back. Praise God. 
So when you are in Christ Jesus, you enjoy the peace that comes with him. Praise God. So as a young Christian, it is good to believe in death and resurrection of Christ Jesus. Praise God. Another benefit why we need to believe in death and resurrection of Christ Jesus is that death and resurrection of Christ Jesus was to fulfill Old Testament prophecy. Praise God. The death and resurrection of Christ Jesus was to fulfill Old Testament prophecy. That one we get in the book of Isaiah chapter 53 verses 5. Messiah was to provide an environment where creation was to live again together in a peaceful. Praise God. It's the same. Praise God. So Jesus Christ was to fulfill that peace that we lose when Adam and Eve committed sin. So another point is that it was to provide salvation for mankind. Praise God. Death and resurrection of Jesus Christ was to provide salvation for mankind. Ephesians chapter 1 verses 9. What is salvation? This is the forgiveness of our sins. Praise God. There is no way our sins can be forgiven without us going through salvation. It is only through salvation is where our sins are being forgiven. Praise God. So through death and resurrection of Christ Jesus, our sins were forgiven. Praise God. So even to us as young Christians, when we believe in death and resurrection of Christ Jesus, our sins shall be forgiven. Praise God. So even today, this morning, we are being reminded that we need to give our life to Christ Jesus so that we can be freed from these sins of this world. Praise God. We are all born sinners and it's only through death and resurrection, it's only through salvation is where we can be set free from these sins that you are being born with. Praise God. Another point why you need to believe in death and resurrection of Christ Jesus is that the death of Christ was to pass for us the authority that gave, that came through Christ. Praise God. The death and resurrection of Christ Jesus was to pass for us the authority that God gave Christ Jesus. Praise God. It's only through Christ Jesus that we can now perform miracles. Praise God. It is only through Christ Jesus that we can now pray and great things happen in our life. Praise God. Unless we believe in death and resurrection of Christ Jesus, we cannot get this power, this authority that comes with him. Praise God. So this morning we are being reminded as young Christians for us to benefit, for us to get this power, for us to get this authority, we need to believe in death and resurrection of who? Of Christ Jesus. Praise God. So another point why we need to believe in death and resurrection of Christ Jesus is that the death of Christ was, to suffi was sufficient to meet all God's claims. Praise God. It is only through Christ's death that we can access all God's promises. Praise God. It's only through death and resurrection of Christ Jesus that we can access God's promises. Praise God. Unless we believe in death and resurrection of Christ Jesus, we cannot benefit of these promises. Praise God. So even to us this morning, there are a number of things that we are going through as young Christians, but God is promising that unless we believe in him, we cannot be we cannot be freed from these challenges that we are going through as young Christians. Praise God. There are a number of things that we are really desiring as young Christians, but God and Atuambia, there is no way we can access these blessings unless we believe in death and resurrection of Christ Jesus. Praise God. So this morning we are being reminded that we need to believe in death and resurrection of Christ Jesus for us to access God's blessings. God promises for us. Amen. Praise God. The last point as we conclude on the benefit of believing in death and resurrection of Christ Jesus is that it is through Christ's death is when we overcome the fear of death. Praise God. It is through Christ's death and resurrection is when we overcome the fear of death. Praise God. Why? Because it is through Christ Jesus, Jesus Christ's death and resurrection is where we know that at the end of the day, 
when we die we shall resurrect praise god we are just resting resting as christians but there is resurrection at the end of the day praise god so this morning we are being reminded for us to overcome the spirit, the fear of death we need to believe in death and the resurrection of Christ Jesus praise god so as young christians it is good to believe in death and resurrection of Christ Jesus so that we can succeed in this life that we are living today praise god and let unless we believe in him we cannot succeed in life praise god unless we believe in death and resurrection of Christ Jesus we cannot overcome the challenges that are facing us as young christians praise god so the bible reminds us in the book of john 3 verses 14 it says just as moses lifted up the snake in the desert so the son of man must be lifted up praise god that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life for god so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but to have eternal life life for god did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but to have the world through him praise god whoever believes in him is not condemned but whoever does not believe in believes stand condemned already because he has not believed in the name of god one and only son praise god we need to believe in the name of christ jesus for us not to stand condemned praise god but if we go against the word of god if we do not believe in christ jesus then we stand condemned praise god god did not send jesus christ to come and condemn us but he sent jesus christ to come and grant us so that we can get access to eternal life praise god so this morning we are being reminded that we need to give our life to christ jesus we need to believe in death and resurrection of christ jesus we need to believe that god sent christ jesus so that we can have eternal life praise god so as young christian we are being encouraged to give our life to christ jesus we are being encouraged to accept death and resurrection of christ jesus as our benefit to set us free from sins praise god may god bless us and i i like us to stand as i pray Thank you God. We bless you. We honor you. We adore you. We exalt and lift up your holy name. We thank you God for your word that reminds us about death and the resurrection of Christ Jesus. That God you send him that whoever believes in him will not perish but to have everlasting life. It's my prayer God that we shall stand to believe in his death and resurrection so that we can enjoy eternal life. that made you to send your only begotten son so that we can be free from these challenges of this world o king of glory father we thank you lord for your word and even as we continue this service o king of glory it's our prayer god that you may continue to bless us for we ask all this believing trusting upon our all just mighty name amen praise god praise god i like us to stand so that we join together the words of apostle creed I believe in God the Father almighty creator of heaven and earth I believe in Jesus Christ his only son our lord who was conceived by the power of the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified and buried he descended to the dead on the third day he rose again he ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the father he will come again to judge the living and the dead I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. Praise God. At this point I want us to join together our Lord's prayer and after that I will invite Bianca to come and give us a prayer towards teens and most of the form fours as they finalize their exams and travel back. Oh praise God. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. 
your will be done on earth as it in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those sins against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours now and forevermore. Amen. Praise God. Blessed Father, I thank you for this day, dear God. Thank you for waking us up, Father. God, I pray that may you cover each teenager with the precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Protect all of us against all kinds of evil forces, dear Father. God, I pray that may you be with the form force as they are going to do their cases, dear God. Help them to read the questions keenly, dear God, and help each one of them to reach their target, dear Father. Protect us as we are, go- as we are home, dear Father, and protect the form force as they are in school. Just through Jesus Christ, I pray and believe. Amen. At this point, I want us to give our offering. And we are still encouraging believers to give their offerings through our pay bill number 614056. And on the section of, section of account, I write, write teens offering. Praise God. You can give your tithe, your gift, and even any form of giving that you're giving to church through that number. Praise one. Praise God. 6140. 56. Praise God. I'd like to invite the praise and worship just to come and give us a praise as we give our offering and we finalize our service. Praise God. Amen. I have a father that will never ever fail me. I have a father that will never ever fail me. Jesus is my father that will never ever fail me. Rock of ages will never ever fail me. I have a father that will never ever fail me. I have a father that will never ever fail me. Jesus is my father that will never ever fail me. Rock of ages will never ever fail me. I have a father that is very, very faithful. I have a father that is very, very faithful. Jesus is my father that is very, very faithful. Rock of ages is very, very faithful. I have a father that will never, ever fail me. I have a father that will never, ever fail me. Jesus is my father that will never, ever fail me. Rock of ages will never, ever fail me. Thank you very much, praise and worship. Let's pray for our offering. Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning. We thank you, Jehovah, alone for the giving that your people have given, O King of Glory. It's our prayer, Jehovah God, that you shall bless the hands that I have given. And even those who do not have, O King of Glory, whatever they can offer to you, King of Glory, this morning, it's a prayer, God, that you shall also be a blessing to them so that they can be a blessing to your kingdom, O Jehovah God. We give you thanks and we give you glory that even as we come towards the end of this service, we also commit our life to King of Glory, that you alone shall continue to be our protector and also our provider throughout the week, O Jehovah God. As we trust you, King of Glory, that you shall continue to meet together, King of Glory, and to thank you, God, and worship you, King of Glory because of your faithfulness upon our life, O King of Glory. We give you thanks and we give you glory that even as you go out of this place, may you go with us, O King of Glory. May your Holy Spirit continue to guide us and to minister to us throughout our life, O King of Glory. We ask all this believing and trusting upon our Lord's mighty name. Amen. Praise God. And now we join together the words of that grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, the flesh of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen and amen. May God bless us all.